What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a video on a product that I've had on my shopping list for quite some time now. So this is the Easy Ring Rinse Clean Microfiber Spin Mop System. It's made by a brand called O Cedar. And I picked this up on a discount at Target and I'll actually put a link in the description below if you guys want to check this product out. So now this does include the mop with the extendable handle and it also comes with the dual chamber bucket. So it essentially separates clean water and dirty water. So as you're mopping and you're wringing out that mop, all that dirty water will go into a different chamber and keep all of your clean water on one side and keep the mop clean as much as possible. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what's included in the box and also give you a quick run through of how it works. Fill it with water and I'll do a quick mop job on this hardwood flooring, which it does work for. It also works for tile as well and also any type of laminate flooring as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and open this box up and see what's included. All right, so let's go ahead and cut right into this box. All right, so here is the mop system itself. Let's go ahead and separate these two halves here. So this red thing right here is your foot pedal. That's what spins the actual actuator on the inside. It's a little bit of a manual motor that spins and agitates the water, pretty nice. So this is washable and reusable, of course. It's got a really nice fluffy pattern and design. As you can see there, it does say rinse clean. This is what attaches the actual mop head to the handle. It's got a little threaded insert on the end there and it does pivot up and down. And this is your handle, which of course is extendable. And it looks like it goes from 22 to 36 inches or 36 inches to 48 inches. And there you go. So that's it right there at full length. Pretty long. Let's go ahead and thread on this end here. There's the attachment base. It does have kind of three semi-locking positions there. All right, and now we can attach the mop head to the attachment point here, and that just snaps right into place. Just like that, ready to mop. Again, the handle has three positions. There's standard, there's vertical for leaning it against the wall or something like that, and then of course reversed. If you say you want to get into a blunt edge, you have that right there. On the opposite end, if you're going into say a corner, you have that triangular piece to really get deep into that corner. And then once you're done mopping, this does pull straight out, just like that. Throw this in a washing machine or hand wash it, and it'll be good as new, ready to go again. Snap it back into place once you're done and ready to mop. Very, very nice design. I like this a lot. I'm really excited to use the system. Okay, so here's the actual tub itself. Looks like there's a little bit of attachment here to maybe attach the mop and to it like that. It's kind of cool. Now this is the whole system where you put the water. So you put the water right here where this opening is, the spout. It's got a rubberized cap for you to fully seal it. And that'll fill it up with water. Sit this over here. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this up with water and a little bit of detergent. And I will show you the next steps in just a second. All right, so I've got a little bit of water in there, as you can see. You can see the suds too from the Fabuloso. I've got the spout closed right now. So it's letting out a little bit of water currently, but not very much. So let's go ahead and pull this up and you'll see the water start to flow down there in that chamber. Hope you can see this okay. And it's filling up the chamber. That's the good thing about this too, is that you can really adjust the water level based on the surface area that you intend to mop, which is why I filled it maybe about to 15%. Um, if I was doing a whole floor, I would probably fill this up all the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna do is dunk this right into the water and get it nice and moisturized and wet. All right, so that was actually just enough to get it fully saturated. 
Next time I'll probably do at least a minimum of about 20 to 25 percent. Drop it straight into that rotating area and with your hand very loosely on this pull, I'm going to hold it up here and I'm going to want to let it spin with that rotation. And the more you do that, the more water is going to be expelled from your mop there. As you can see there, it's pretty well saturated. And let's go ahead and just mop this area right here that you can see. So as you can see, it makes like a really nice dome shape. You can go ahead and give it a nice spin to fully release those bristles there. And just start mopping away. One thing I do want to note is that this handle is actually quite light, so it doesn't really take a lot of strength and a lot of effort to move this fore and aft. And I really like the sponginess and fluffiness of these bristles on the end of this mop here. Really nice. I want to dry this out. Give a nice cleaning spin. That's also going to take the dirty water and drop it into the lower chamber here. Keep it separate from your clean water, which is really cool. Go ahead and re-wet your brush. Dripping wet. And if you're dealing with hardwood and you want a lot of water, well, do this a little bit more. And that's feeling really light. Got a lot of that water out of there for sure and just start mopping away. Get rid of this little toy here. Nice. All right guys, once again, this was the Easy Ring Rinse Clean Mop by O-Cedar. It's a full system that includes everything that you need to get started and start mopping with ease and precision with this nice ring system. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll check you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.